God can do something special with you. You might not believe it, but it's fact. You know what? I'm 59 years of age. It's taken me a long time to recognize the reality that God, who is so powerful and so big and so mighty, can do something special with me, who's a sinner, who makes mistakes and blows it all the time. But he can. Look at this text. Isaiah 64 verse 8. Yet you, Lord, are our Father. We are the clay, you are the potter, we are all the work of your hand. Isaiah 64 verse 8. Love that Bible text, special, powerful. Back in the 1400s, there was a sculpturer and he'd got hold of a piece of marble in Florence, Italy, and he started to sculpture this marble and he made a massive mistake. Well, in disgust, now I don't know that he threw the marble on the ground because you can't do that, it'll break. But in disgust, he packs up his tools and he wanders off never to be seen again. A hundred years later, Everybody thought that nothing could be done with that marble. It was damaged. It was ruined. There was no future. It's just so heavy. They hadn't bothered to cart it away somewhere. A hundred years later, wow, long time, another sculpturer comes into the church in Florence, Italy, where this marble was lying on the ground, damaged, broken, never to be used again. He had a look at it. He scratched his head, he got out his tools, and he began to sculpture away. You know, when he finished that sculpture, it was 18 feet tall. That's three, six, nine, twelve, four or five metres tall. And it became one of the most famous sculptures in the history of the world. It's called David. And the sculpturer was Michelangelo. The most famous sculpture in the world came from a damaged, broken piece of marble. And that today might be you. Damaged, broken, and you think you've got no future. Everybody's cast you aside. Look at this. Isaiah 64 verse 8. Yet you, Lord, are our Father. We are the clay... You are the potter. You are the sculpturer. We are all the work of your hand. If you were to say, Lord, here I am. I am broken. I am wounded. I am damaged. I see no future for myself, but I give you my heart. I give you my life. Mold me, make me into what you want. Then you will be a David, sculptured and put together by Michelangelo. A greater sculptor than Michelangelo, by Jesus himself. I am telling you, it's a guarantee that if you were to give your life to Jesus this morning, that's right, right now, here I am, Lord, take my sin, take my life. I choose you to be my saviour, that Jesus will come down through the Holy Spirit and he will do this is a guarantee, assured promise. He will do, yeah, that's you. He will do something very powerful with you and make you into something you could never have believed. That's the power of God. Let's pray. Father in heaven, there's a lot of us think not too much of ourselves. We're wounded, we're broken. We think our lives are washed up and there's no future. Oh, but we dare to come to you this morning, Jesus. We give you our hearts. We give you our lives. We give you this wounded, broken person. Take us, mould us, sculpture us into something special for your glory and for your honour. And Lord Jesus, for your cause and your cause alone is my prayer in your name, Jesus. Amen. My name's Lord Grolleman. I'm the Aussie pastor and I love you. But not as much as Jesus. See you next time.